are you? I hope you are staying well. This is Zenith with Gardening Mindfully. Today, we'll be potting up a couple of urns that will be placed on a north-facing patio. I decided to go with heucheras or coral bells. This is a Monrovia plant and it is the Carnival Black Olive Coral Bells or heuchera. It is not the normal traditional green foliage and I think it will go really well with my trailing plant, which is a sweet Alyssa. I believe combining both of these will give me the winning combination that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a lot of color in these urns because I already have a lot of color on the patio. So I'm not looking for anything that's going to compete with the other colors that are on the patio. I'm really proud of both of the containers and I'm really excited to see how they fill out the rest of the spring and also this summer. I know the Alyssa will fill in really nicely and will trail over the sides of the pot. And so one of the things I like to do with Alyssa is to untangle the plant because it tends to get knotted together especially when they're in the nursery can i like to come through and just untangle them and as you see the brown leaves you can go ahead and remove them This is very therapeutic for me. I could do this all day long. Just walk around and untangle plants, remove dried leaves. It's very therapeutic. It helps you to stay in the present moment and also to release any tension and stress. By focusing on the plants, you're staying in the present moment. I'm not thinking about what's going to happen after this, what I'm planning on having for breakfast or what I plan to have for dinner. I'm focusing on the plant. So it's very, very therapeutic. And one of the things that you also want to do with your plants that are in containers, sometimes you may just need to rotate them because the plant will always grow towards the light. If you notice this plant, the heuchera, it's growing towards this direction. That means when the plant was in the nursery container, it was receiving light from this direction. So it was growing towards the light. One of the things we need to do is to gently rotate or container so the plant will grow even. So I like to come out and look at my containers, see how the plants are growing, rotate the pot if I need to. Sometimes I rotate my pots once a week. It just depends on how much light they're getting. What I like about the plants in this container, they both like to stay moist. Both of these plants are reliable growers. There's really not much care or maintenance that's required. Once your hookera has finished blooming, one of the things that you can do is to cut off the flower spike. And then you will have this lush foliage as your filler plant. You can fertilize both plants in the growing months. So spring through summer, they can both be fertilized. So I'll just go through and untangle each plant. This will fill in in a few months. And this is going to look really lush and it will be gorgeous. I'll do 
do the same thing with this one. Go ahead and untangle. I could do this all day long. Again, we're removing all dry leaves. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding coral bells or heuchera or the sweet alyssum, please put a comment in the comment section below. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thanks so much for following along and happy gardening everyone. Bye for now.